up, everybody? Welcome back to a Rare Dandy Ogre, a Z, a Row. Um, tonight, episode is episode 8 of season 3. Let me just boom! These are the comments for the last episode. Um, the only ones I've read are the ones I've already thumbs up because your boy's a little scared of spoilers. Also, just in case you don't know, apparently this is the last episode of The Core, and so the show's gonna be gone for, I think it's 11 weeks after this. Which I didn't realize until I, I woke up today and I looked at the Discord, shout out the Discord, link in the description, right there. I licked at it and people were saying that it was over, so or like that the core was over. So that's pretty sad. I didn't know that was a, a thing that was happening. So cool. Um. Anyways, okay. So comments. Um. I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna read this one. Um. Julius was standing, and you know he wanted to be the one hugging Subaru. Like, come on. We all saw that little jealousy spark in his eyes. While well, Garfield got his hug, you just know Julius is probably thinking like, if only that was me, and not just a hug, like a soft kiss. <laughs> Okay, jokes aside, just imagine Super Julius actually kissing in the next episode. Like, please, please, give us that finally, like, imagine the tension gone, just gone, and they're both, like, blushing and everything. Pout, pout. The whole buildup between these two have, have, have had, like, it's time. Just one little kiss, just one five dots. Um, this was the most liked comment, so I just, I felt like it was, des it deserved a, a full readout. Uh, I have nothing else to say to that. Anyways, okay, um, the important things, now that we got the troll out of the way. The important things. Come here close, alright? I'll even get a little closer for you too, okay? Um, ow. We need to talk about Al a little bit. I know that's been, like, the only thing I've talked about for the last, like, three episodes, but we're gonna talk about Al a little bit, alright? You know what I mean? Um, did I only now realize that Al has one arm? Yes. However, I'm willing to bet I noticed in season one and then forgot about it. So if anything, that means I win because I got to realize it twice. Why is my room shaking? Oh my goodness, I'm getting attacked. Anyways, I got to realize it twice, right? So I got to experience realizing Al lost his arm two times, which means I got twice the joy out of it. You ever think about that, chat? Anyways, um, also like... It was, it was shown in the Discord, but most of the, sh like, scenes with Al have him positioned, like, if this is his missing, let me just, for the sake of argument, this is his missing arm, right? This is Al. He'll be like this in every single scene, so we don't actually see it. And he has, like, his cloak, you know? Do I have a cloak? Oh, my goodness. I'll be right back. I don't even know. I'm not even cutting this. This is important. Okay, so it, this is Al. Ready? This is Al. He's got his cloak on, right? And then he's got his missing arm. So it's like, you can't even, I'm, like, you can't even tell if I, I'm missing an arm that much right now because I got all this nonsense. You know what I mean? And so he'll be like this. He'll be like, oh, I'm Al. I look normal right now. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm glad you finally agree with me. Okay. Um, it's, one second. There we go. Let me just put this on. Anyways, my dentist's robe. So yeah, um, that's cool. Next comment, Al was kind of like Roswell last season where he's just telling Super to just focus on Amelia. I think that's really interesting. Um, I absolutely agree that it's it's very reminiscent of last season, um, kind of like the grind set thing. What's the thing with it is that I don't know to what degree, like like it's not really connecting for me that well. Like Al doesn't like Al's not really connecting with me. But the thing about Roswell is that he understood return by death to some degree, right? Um I mean, do any of us understand it completely, you know? But he understood Subaru well So whenever he was like orchestrating everything it made a lot of sense, right? Because like he was able to like very precise like like he was in the know, right? So it made sense. Al has no idea, right? And so Al will be talking about like um, um oh, Somebody commented on it -da 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 -da. Um, I'm, Okay, my brain just freaking turned off Al will be commenting on oh the martyr thing the martyr thing That's what I'm thinking about which was this comment um, I will be talking about like, oh, it's too risky if you die. Like that would be really bad. And like, that's, you know, are you really ready to take that burden on you? But it's like, you're, you're, you like, you have no idea what's going on. You don't understand return by death. So your words don't mean anything. That's like my position, right? He's talking about all this stuff of like, what if you die? That would be so unfortunate. Brother, he can't return by death. And like, he, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's like a version of the Roswell thing from last season, except I don't care because he's wrong. You know, like he's just wrong. <laughs> so, so what it does is it makes me like, it doesn't really make me want to like rethink Subaru, like with what all is saying of like, maybe you shouldn't be a hero. Like, no, I disagree. And like, you don't, you can't give a good argument because you don't under, you fundamentally don't understand. 
What it does do, though, is it makes me rethink all a little bit and be like, okay, but why is he even trying to give these arguments, right? What does that tell us about all his character? Al, all? I've been calling him all. I don't freaking know. What does that tell us about his character that he feels this way? Which is kind of what I was already doing last episode with the whole, like, oh, maybe he was burned, right? Maybe he wanted to be more heroic, but then things went wrong. Something like that. So, I don't know. That's just kind of the all situation, Al situation, whatever situation. Um, and so I'm a little still unsure, like, I don't know if unsure is the right word. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with him. Um, another point um, was the Valve thing, uh, which which I went back and I looked. Um, literally, look at this. Look at this nonsense. All right, ready? This is the opening of episode seven, right? People called me silly. I was called like silly in the Discord for missing this. Look at this. Look at this. Gonzo. Right? That's all you get. Did you see it? Did you see it? That was the valve. Did you miss it? Did you blink? It literally is on screen for like a half of a, look at this, look at this. It literally, you get, and then it's gone. Like I'm busy looking at all the corpses down here, all right? I'm like, ooh, what is, what's going on with these Witch Cult members? And it's good, it's just, that's it. Because like the, all the other shots, you just see, you see like his, his back. Like this doesn't show the valve, it just shows like some like miscellaneous machinery behind him, right? It doesn't, it doesn't give us the valve. And so, that's, I mean, is there another shot of him that shows the valve? I just didn't see one when I was looking myself. Yeah. So literally the only showing of the valve is like, a, a, like five, I, should I count the frames just to like be that guy real quick? All right, we're going to count the frames of valve. All right. I'm going to count like now is when like you can understand this to be valve. This is a little, not enough, like right here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Well, I, I, it went too fast. It already ended. Wait, wait, wait. Run it back. Okay, like right here. I'll even give you this. This much for Valve. You, if you can see this, no, no, no. It's got to be like this much for Valve. All right? One frame. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ten. So there's ten frames because the eleventh one had jumped to the next frame. There are ten frames of Valve, man. And I'm the... Okay, anyways. I'm just yapping. I, I don't even care that much. I just think it's funny. Um, But yeah. Anyways, so what that tells us though is that um, Al is 100% the guy that did the the, the 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 water flood, right? And so now we're in the situation where, uh, what has Al done? He has literally been like, don't be a hero to both Super and Amelia. And in both cases, I'm like, I disagree. And the characters are basically like, I disagree, you know? He's not given like any credence in the argument because like Amelia was like, I'm kind of working on it. And she had a perfect response to everything he said. And then Subaru was like, I kind of have already taken the entire pressure of the world on my back and died like a million times. He doesn't say that verbatim, you know, like, obviously. But he's already, he's like, yeah, I, okay, cool, man. So both, both characters were like, I don't really care. And then Al goes off and he is like, I got to go get Priscilla. And then he floods the city. So I don't know. He's, is he witch cult? Probably not. At this point, you know, because why would he be? He killed a bunch of witch cultists there. So he's not witch cult. Is he doing something with and not telling the rest of the squad what he's doing? Yes. Is there a reason for that? I don't know. Is it that he's just like acting on his own and he's like, I'm going to flood the city in order to like get the squad to be able to escape, you know, because that was kind of a point made. It was like, it was kind of helpful to us actually that the city flooded. Was he doing that to like save the squad, but then all the like, casual the potential casualties from like flooding the city he didn't want to like take responsibility for maybe but also like flooding the area that your squad is in in order to save them is not super high iq i'm gonna be honest like super literally literally got caught in the flood right and so he could have just been like bam hit a wall and just exploded you know so al what are you doing i don't really know what he's doing man um I've lost. He, I've lost the plot with Al a little bit. But yeah, okay. Um, super has serious imposter syndrome. Absolutely true. Um, without any question. And then this was some good lines to kind of like um, show that off, right? And also his entire speech was basically like him him doing all that. Um, you know, if you do this, bro, from now on, it'll be heroic reveries that you'll be carrying on your back. You know, yeah, that kind of thing. That's from Al. Um, oh yeah, the, the communication mirrors we have seen... Anastasia's one to communicate with Julius and Tivi and then switch to a different line with the Carter and Hetero on it. Um, so that does, that does confirm that they can switch and they're not like bound to each other. Um, 
And so I'll just read. I think this basically confirms that the mirrors can all communicate with one another, although I would imagine there would be some kind of frequencies that they use so you don't contact enemies with them. It's just, you know what's crazy to me? Is that Amelia literally picks up the phone that freaking um, Regulus, that Regulus was using, and then Al's in it, and she's like, oh, Al, my friend! Like, isn't that a little bit suspicious? Look how excited she is. Like, that's a little bit suspicious, is it not? Am I the only one that found that to be a problem? All right. I guess I am. That's okay. Um, dum -ba -da -dum, the white birds. Shout out the white birds. This was a good point. Um, and then also we got to see I, Al's face a little bit. I didn't notice that last episode, but um, I saw like a brightened up version in the Discord. I mean, maybe I could find that really quickly for y'all. Um, I didn't plan this ahead of, ahead of time. So, oh my goodness, I'm actually not going to do that. It's way too much work. Anyways, um, I'll, I'll just show you when I scroll through the episode in a second. Um, I want, this I thought was a good point. So I was talking about like martyred, like the idea of a martyr. Uh, and I was using that as a counterpoint against Al. Um, and so, don't think you have something about your loss and the person you love. Or like, blah, 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 blah. He think Al has... Al thinks it would have the opposite effect to what you're talking about regarding martyrs. I mean, think about it. In a world where archbishops are considered unstoppable, and one of the few people who can beat one dies, it'd be pretty hard to be hopeful. Um, you're thinking his death would be a bar martyrdom is based off of our world, where the difference in strength between people isn't so significant. A hundred peasants can easily kill a king. But I doubt the entire population of Pristella could kill any bar archbishop. The symbol of an archbishop's di non-indestructibly dying to an archbishop anyway would probably throw people into despair and think that's what Al is worried about. That's a really good point. I think you're absolutely correct. Um, because yeah, if, I mean, Al pretty much said it himself of like, you, Subaru, and Reinhardt, that's gonna be it, right? And so if you die, that's a bad look. Um, that was like one thing he said, and it is kind of true because if Subaru, like, yeah, who else, who else can carry the torch, you know? Um, cause it, like the, the thing with the martyr is kind of what you're saying with like, oh yeah, like, oh, the, the, the the revolutionary leader dies, all the peasants are going to be like, yeah, let's do it, man. And that actually matters. But in this case, if all the, all the civilians that are cowering away, if they, you know, got inspired to go jump some archbishop, they would just all explode. I think that's absolutely true. So yeah, um, I'd actually, I'd actually complete, I think almost completely like, uh, give up on the, the, that counter argument to Al. Mostly I think, so in that case, I can understand Al better. Uh, because archbishops really kind of are that OP. Uh, though it's still what, what makes Al impossible for me to like really, um, I don't know, be on his side with is that he has no idea what's going on in the way that Roswell did. So like nothing he says is really like connecting with any of the characters that well, in my, in my opinion. Right. So, so yeah, but that, that is a really good, um, counter argument to the, uh, the martyr thing that I was talking about. Okay. <laughs> Episode seven, um, there was like the one shot of Al with his visor. Was it? it wasn't that one. There's like one shot of Al that you can see into his visor. And if you like brighten it up a bajillion times, you can see his face a little bit. Um, and so pretty much you can just see his eyes and then like, like a small scar. The notable thing is that it's not nearly as, is it this one? I don't think so. It's not, his face isn't nearly as like mucked up as I expected it would be. He just has like a scar. So I don't know exactly, maybe, maybe he has like some crazy scars on like other parts of his face or something, you know, but I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of a bra moment. Oh, right here. Yeah, it's literally right here. And you can kind of already see it. I don't even need to really brighten it up. Um, unless you're on YouTube where it's going to be low opacity, <laughs> imagine. Well, I can maybe try to brighten. I actually don't know how. Anyways, you can definitely see his eyes here. He has like eyes and a scar across his face. The thing is, it's like, it's less notable than I thought it would be. Um, which, yeah. Maybe his eye color, you could try to like argue matters in some kind of way. But he literally came from Japan. So like, I don't think it does because usually we would be using eye color to try to like sync up like families. Um, wait a second. The only people that can get transported to this world are people with brown eyes. You know what I mean? Like there's not really anything we can do with that. And so all we pretty much get from that is like, oh, his face has a scar, which I kind of already assumed with the helmet. I honestly assumed it would be worse, but yeah. Anyways, this episode, last episode was pretty much the speech. Uh, shout out the two white birds. Get it? Cause it's all about relationships, man. Damn. Um, Super is the goat. Amelia is going to help all the girls. I won't leave you girls behind. Marriage is a ceremony about people who love each other. 
poggers. Um, and then she's like, I'm not gonna leave. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna stay here and, and do this shit. And then Otto pulled up! Otto gang, and then Reinhardt pulled up! Reinhardt gang. All right, anyways, let's jump into episode eight. Last of the core. See what is going on, Mar. Uh, yeah, that looks good to me. This case going in. A three, a two, a one. Bang! Okay, that, that shot of Al is very showing that he has no left arm. <laughs> uh. Huh? Okay, that is a, okay. You know, it's really funny. If they didn't all react, I would have been extra confused. <laughs> Otto, why are you always like this, bro? He's always the most unassuming guy and then is so plot relevant. Like what? I don't know, man. It was already burned up. Burned from, no, not from Beetle Goose, right? What would a, I don't know, man. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, okay, no, I, I get it now. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, so it's give it, it's it's with a restorer right now, Otto. That's what you're telling me. That's true. Hello. Oh. Mad and crazy about every bit of you. Okay. Bars. All right. All right. She came in with a musical entrance. Deserved. Ah! Sorry, that was a bit much. He was coming right for her, bro. Bro, wait. Al was so excited to see her. Is that really his... Hmm. I wonder if he's just horny. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's in Priscilla's camp. Oh no, he actually appreciates her. Maybe he's not just horny, but he's like, I don't know. All right. Al is just getting clowned on right now, I'm not gonna lie. His own princess is clowning him. Now, Otto, come explain this, thank you. Oh, that one, okay. That makes sense, that makes sense. Fair. I'm curious that you never told Subaru about this. But I guess Otto is on his Adunalo independent arc. I like that Otto. I can work with that. Hmm. <laughs> Internal affairs officer. Hmm. Oh, so he's trying to, ah, oh, so he was trying to restore it to figure out what he's plotting. Okay, Otto. Good move, Otto. So that's why he was working alone. Okay. Okay. I can, I can appreciate that, Otto. 
Kind of wish you would have told super earlier, but like, I get it. How did the witch cult know it's here though? Hmm. Yeah, give him a fist bump. There we go, my goat, my goat. Oh. I was about to say, where were you? <laughs> oh, he was with Kirsch. Okay, okay. That... How's she doing? Can we see your face, please? <laughs> Excited. <laughs> she really gets the short end of every stick. Okay. So it looks like his leg, but all over her face and body. Oh, it's gross. Good question. Perfect question. Hmm. I wonder if... Okay. I wonder if him having the... the uh, all the other stuff in him protected him. I'm trying to think. Oh, it lessened. He's going to take the burden. Oh, boy. He's about to take the burden. Hmm. Oh, he seems kind of chill with it, though. See, I kind of thought the dragon blood would be a buff for us, so I... So... But, but I don't know what it's doing to Subaru. That's my worry. But it's more than pain, bro. What is it? My goat. No, he's he's done enough. I mean, she should be fine now. He absorbed a ton. He's doing the jacket over the shoulder thing. Felix, we got you. we gotta have you lock in. I, I I love you. We gotta have you lock in. She should be fine now. He just absorbed like the majority. Look at his hand. Wilhelm's like, bro, what what you do in there? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, yeah? 
I recognize their swordsmanship. Eight Arms Kurgan. Okay, yeah. Volachia? I don't know what that means. Okay. Hmm. <gasps> oh no! Okay, are they reviving the dead? Or oh no, bro. That's crazy. Ew, no. Someone must have it. Okay. He seems pretty... How comfortable are you with this, Wilhelm? I'm gonna... In what way? Oh boy. Okay. Fair. Where, where things went wrong and he blames. During the battle. Oh, weird. That wasn't his, under his control, though, right? Like it just it just happens, yeah. Okay, yeah, agreed then. Does the corpse have some will of its own then? Mm. That must be so fun for him to fight. Like emotionally. Wrath? You wanna go deal with Wrath? Oh, she's useful for Wrath though. Wait, that's true. She's actually gonna be OP. We need you. It's crazy that Priscilla's the one that's like making the peasants feel better. And her stupidity, yo. He's about to do something with a divine protection, is he? What's he about to do? I have just been blessed. <laughs> yeah, he's doing some nonsense, bro. <laughs> oh, does she have one? Telepathy? Does she know she has that? Interesting. Oh, hers might be a lineage based too. T telepathy that's in the same way that the Beat her ass! Punch her! Alright, there we go. Bram! There we go. Alright, she's locked in now. Dude. Priscilla, one. I mean, she does have like fire magic, so she she's like she might be extra good with dealing with uh the fire magic that's there. 
Oh, I I'll volunteer to go fight Lust. I'll volunteer. I can ha I can handle her alone. <laughs> Y'all just deal with the soldiers. Okay. Okay. He's willing to say that much. Oh wow, Garfield knows the legends. Hmm, he had eight arms. <laughs> yeah? That makes sense. That, that's, that seems like something she would do. Yeah. Wilhelm and Garfield? Oh, just the... That is not enough, bro. I mean, they can deal with the two corpse soldiers, but, like, who's gonna actually go deal with her? Okay. <laughs> Who do you think I am, brother? <laughs> Finally, finally we get Reinhardt to actually go fight. Oh, that seems good. I like that. Just stab him really hard. Surely, surely it all it'll break through. Ooh, Gar that's like the Garfield character arc. Because earlier he was feeling so, uh, you know, he felt like uh, weak when when he was manhandled. But now he's got new humility. Okay, okay, Garfield. Bro, they're gonna end the episode before any of this plan comes to fruition. I'm pissed. And then I gotta wait 11 weeks? Look, like, there's still credits on the screen! What is going on? Wait, is it the end credits? What is going- Stop! Stop talking! Alright. <laughs> Why are there so many credits? Okay. Yeah, team up. Boom. Who's gonna deal with gluttony? Julius? Dude, we're losing every one of these fights except the Reinhard one. I'm gonna be honest. We have, like, not enough people for any of these. I feel like we don't have enough people for any of this. Wait, what's Al doing? Was Al not assigned to anything? Wait, we're losing every battle. Am I right? We're gonna lose! Is that the end of the episode? Okay, there's a little bit more. <laughs> We're gonna lose all of these fights, man! Alright, we're doing the marriage now. Okay. Can we just jump this guy? Reinhardt, get in the window. Oh, good question. All right, that's the that's a boring answer, but I'll accept it. That is so like arbitrary. <laughs> I was gonna have seventy nine, but then you showed up. Then I didn't like her, and then you showed up. So like now you're seventy nine. Don't speak to me again without permission. That's what he's about to say. I don't want to hear nothing out of you! Okay. Okay. I saw 
odd expression in the crowd. Ricky, let's kill that one. Kill that wife. Oh my goodness, he's such a yapper. It's a violation of his rights! Amelia, you're violating his rights! Yeah? You're, you're so shallow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Who's this Subaru? <laughs> Are you cheating on me? Who is this man? At the altar, bro. That's crazy. That's violating his rights! Okay, Amelia, what's your plan here? I feel like you're just gonna get your head ripped off. Yeah, I, like, Amelia, I'm not sure what your plan is other than to be saved right now by someone else. Like... She's just trying to explain marriage. Okay, she's not qualified. Okay. Dude, she's just emotion dumping. She's just talking about Super and being like, I don't know how to respond to his feelings, bro. This overwhelms me. <laughs> okay, that's that's interesting to hear. So you kill her? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Amelia, you didn't have a plan. <laughs> that's, that's true. Amelia, I don't know. Amelia fumbled the bag, bro. If they didn't kick in the door at that time, she would have just gotten her head ripped off. Like, Amelia, I thought you were planning something. She was, oh my goodness. Okay, Amelia's dumb. It is what it is. <laughs> There's no men on the guest list. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Alright, Reinhardt, just rip this guy's head off. I'm a spirit knight. A little girl user. You say it, Subaru. Say it, Subaru. He said his partner's absent, so it's a GG. They're about to end the episode. Bruh. Is that it? That's just the end of the core? Dude, okay. Amelia? Amelia? You're, I don't... I literally was like, okay, Amelia, listen, your plan, I need to understand your plan, Amelia. I need to understand your plan. Your plan with, okay, I want to save these girls. I don't want to leave these girls behind. Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to go to the wedding and I'm going to tell them I'm not going to marry him. <laughs> like, that's not a plan. That's not a plan. That's like, that's just getting yourself killed. Like, I thought that, oh my God. She literally, her plan was to tell, to, was to tell him, okay, listen, Subaru keeps saying that he loves me, but I don't know if I'm ready for that commitment. Like, I don't know if I can feel that back, but I know that when I love someone, it's going to be him. So I'm not going to love you ever. Amelia, that's not a plan. Is that just me? I thought like, give me the episode three, bro. I thought like, that's kind of what I was like, I guess that's all she was saying. Like, oh, you know, people should love each other. But what, what did she say? 
If you're going to do something, please do it alone. No, alone, that's right. not right. I was never alone. That was dangerous. What do you plan to do? And then she was like, we're going to hold the wedding. So I assume she had a plan, but her plan was to hold the wedding and then just deny the wedding, which would equal her getting her head ripped off in any situation other than good timing. Right? So that's not a plan? Question mark? I assume she had a plan. <laughs> maybe that was a bit, hey, maybe that was quick of me. I mean, her plan, I mean, okay, so the idea is brought up of like, I'm never alone, number 149 or whatever. So like, maybe the plan was literally just get, like, get help from someone else, but that's not a plan. That's, what does she say at the beginning here? I want to do everything I can to make it easier for Super when he eventually comes. Amelia, I just got the feeling you didn't do that. Am I wrong? She didn't do anything. She snuck in, got this, talked to Al, gave a little bit of information to Al. That was pure coincidence, right? That he was on the line. Okay, Amelia fumbled this arc. Amelia's fumbled this arc. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I think Amelia has, has made no good moves this arc. I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Um. I guess, I guess she was like, now my message will reach Subaru. And so she's like, okay. Now he knows what's going on. So, Subaru will be the one who'll save me, not a prince though. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I just thought she was gonna do more. Cause she literally, she, I guess, yeah, cause this is what she says. She's like, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it easier for Subaru to help me, right? And then I was like, hey, be careful, don't pull any stunts. And she's like, um, Subaru will save me. All right, bet, cool. Now my message is gonna reach Subaru. Why am I so sure of myself? And then we cut to later with her, and she's like, oh, this is how I feel that marriage should be. Marriage is supposed to be happy. And she's like, okay, cool. And the other one's like, okay, cool, but like, um, you're gonna get all of us killed. Please do it alone. Type, type. Like, you're gonna get people killed. Like, this is dangerous, you know? And then, what are you planning to do? We're gonna hold the wedding. Like, wouldn't, isn't that the worst thing you can do? Like, like literally the worst thing you can do? Because holding the wedding with the intent to deny the wedding is just provoking Regulus's anger as soon as you can, right? Like, wouldn't it be better to like delay the wedding anything that, in any way you could? Not that you necessarily could without Regulus killing you, but like, like her plan was just go along with Regulus and then deny him which the only result of that is I get killed, you know? And like, she was saying at the beginning, oh my goodness, okay. Amelia, she's back to damsel in distress mode, I think a little bit. This is, I think, an L Amelia moment. I think that really put the L in Amelia, you know what I mean? Am I wrong or am I wrong? Or am I right? <laughs> because it's just, I don't know, I feel like I've already, I feel like I've already made the point. I don't even know if I need to keep repeating it. But like all she does to save herself is sneak into the room and then talk on the phone, which is pure, to me, it seems to be pure coincidence that she stumbled upon Al. I mean, that is, it just is. It's pure coincidence that she stumbled onto Al. So that's just, you know, you can't really like be like, what a well thought out move, Amelia. It was just like, okay, good luck, you know? And then after making the good luck move, she comments on about how, like, she's like, hmm, I'm weirdly confident. And then just goes ahead and lets the wedding happen and then immediately denies it by yapping, right? She just, she goes with the yap attack, right? Saying like, Regulus, you're dumb. That's not what, that's not what love's about. That's not what marriage is about. See, when Subaru talks to me, he really loves me. And I don't know if I'm ready for that yet, but, but guess what? Like, I'm gonna be ready to love someone as a woman will one day. And when I do, I'm gonna love him. I deny you. So there is no, I don't know, bro. This is just crazy to me. Like, look at this. It's literally her closing her eyes here. She's literally just praying to Subaru, bro. That's all she's doing here. Oh no, Amelia, your stock market, it's crashing. She, you know what I mean? Oh, dude, no! All she does is pray to get saved by Subaru and she doesn't even make any moves. I feel like she makes it worse. It would have been better for her to just go along with it. That would have made her live longer, right? Because if she goes along with it more and just stretches it out and be like, 
Regulus, let's do it, man. Like, they can hold the wedding, you know? They can kiss or whatever. Not that she wants to do that, but, like, that can all happen. And then that would give Super and, and, and whoever Subaru brings, because she doesn't even know any of that's... Ne like necessarily happening she can very like she can assume it and it's a, it's a fair assumption that Subaru's coming to save her because like why wouldn't that be ha be happening you know but i mean maybe they got attacked on the way right like there's a million moving pieces right now so she could have just like the best thing she could have done if she wasn't planning to escape which is fair because they would have fled the city or if she wasn't planning to like find a way to save herself right? By like, you know, killing Regulus because she can't, right? If, if her only plan is like, I need to buy, like, I need to wait for other people, then what she should be doing is buying time, right? Because, and then that's how she's helping, that's how she's making it easier for people to save her. But instead of doing any of that, she copies Regulus and just yaps about nonsense to him. And I know it's not nonsense, it's about her, like, feelings and shit, but like, in this context, that's kind of nonsense. It doesn't matter, Amelia. Like, Regulus doesn't care. He's just gonna rip your head off. That's the only, the only response you're getting. You're like, she's just trauma. She's like, it's like trauma dumping. It's emotional dumping to, to, about, about names and the importance of them. She just, she just like tries to take like the moral, like rhetorical high ground on him with like what it should be. But that is the most obvious way to make Regulus pissed off because his entire thing is about his rights and how you can't talk down to him, right? He has the biggest... For, for being greed, he has the most pride. You know what I mean? And so, that's just the crazy thing, is that, like, she just provokes him so hard. And that's, I feel like, the literal worst move she could have made. Other than, like, I don't know. I, I mean, attacking him would have been worse, because that would have just been, like, provoking him, but more direct. But any, any type of provocation is, I think, the worst thing she could have done here. I mean, would escaping be better than provocation? I mean, her little, like, ice dummy thing would have at least bought some time, but then he would have gone and tried to flood the city, probably, which wouldn't have been great. But, like, or I don't know. Imagine if, like, she goes, she escapes, goes to wherever you flood the city with the wheel, and just freezes all that shit. Or, like, freezes a bunch of water or something. And then Regulus, like, his only way, right, like, she got ice, like, there's things you can do, and it's not even like that that would have been a good idea, but that would have, like, bought time for somebody else to stop Regulus while he's having to, like, fix all the water shit or whatever, right? Or if she just does nothing and just goes along with it, then that would have bought even more time. Oh, no! Okay, whatever. Amelia, you're a lucky duckling. All right, you're a lucky duckling. You got Al when you needed it, and you got Subaru and Reinhard when you needed it. That's crazy to me, personally. Because your ass was dead meat here. Your ass was gonna get... <laughs> And then Super would have kicked in the door one second later and got in Amelia's head thrown like a bowling ball at Mach 17 and kill him and he would have had to respawn. All right, that's the situation you put us in. But guess what? Reinhardt got that, that boot on him, all right? That's the crazy thing. If Reinhardt had kicked the door in more gently or like if they had come in a window or some shit, then guess what? Her head is ripped off. This is really funny though that the door hits him. I thought he had a barrier. Maybe if he doesn't have the time to, like, turn it on, he gets hit. Because this is kind of important. This is notable, right? He got money walk. And that's a funny line. That's a good quip. That's one of my favorite quips from Subaru in recent memory. W Subaru quip. Yeah. Your bursting in to save the day moment is going to look way cooler than mine now. Oh, man. Okay, well... Um, I, I do love a good, like, 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 cinematically timed wedding objection. That's, that's fire. Um, but man, she just really seemed to, like, it's crazy. I was like, Amelia, you gotta, you gotta, like, make more moves. And then the move she makes, like, I think is worse than her making no move. So that's just crazy to me personally. Anyways, okay, the rest of this stuff. Um, mostly planning yapping. Um, I think we lose every fight. Am I right or am I right? Oh my goodness. Dude, this episode has made me lose faith in the squad. Oh no. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be feeling right now, y'all, but I'm losing faith in the squad fast. I mean, it's gonna be fine, because Reinhardt and Subaru are there. Um, this whole situation, I assume it's either Subaru's, like, witch, witch cult factor stuff inside of him, which, you know, is both um, Witch of Envy, but also, um, like, 
the beetle goose stuff and then also the mob beast curse stuff from way back because that appeared like last episode i assume all of that is giving him an ability to like interact with curses in a way because he's been like cursed so many times that he's able to interact with curses or that curses like to interact with him because he's like an easy vessel or some shit um but also since they're all on opposite sides they're fighting each other so it's not taking him over but like i don't know i mean i can just assume like the the magical process is at work that just seems to be a fair enough assumption it doesn't even seem to be like weakening him right it's just making him look weird but it literally healed him before so this might be a good thing like loki we could rip his arm off and it would regen right now like i don't know but like that seems almost possible so i don't really mind this too much um the Asteria family drama, having to kill the, the Hurrigan is crazy. Wilhelm seemed pretty locked in on this. I expected him to like, I don't know. Uh, I can't imagine that's a fun experience for him to be like, oh, this is the swordsmanship my wife used. Wait a second, this is my wife. Oh, this is her corpse, you know? That's, that's kind of not a fun experience, but he does seem to be like, well, I'm just gonna have to deal with it, you know? Um, and he seemed to fully understand like, like, he, 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 what he says here is he says, like, the mature things of, like, um, Reinhardt bears no responsibility for my wife's death, right? And, like, my wife's dead. They're just puppeteering her body. Like, it's not her, you know? I feel like he was very clear about that. Um, so that makes me feel better, but I also wouldn't be surprised if, like, there's some, like, I mean, there's going to be a lot of emotional weight there, and, like, he's going to have to, to be able to deal with that. What's all of our squads? All right, so our squad with Sirius, why so serious, is Ileana and um, Priscilla, yeah? That's not a bad group. I think that's enough. Um, Priscilla seems to be really strong, and uh, Ileana is a direct counter to Wrath's authority. So that pretty much just makes it, like, if Ileana is just casting counter charm, or doing counter charm over and over and is interrupting the authority, then that makes Sirius into just a super proficient fire mage. And Priscilla seems to be really good with fire because she's got like this, the special sword that I think is associated with fire really hard. Um, and she, her, I mean, she, she seems, she seems to be a fire lady. So like, if there's anybody that can counter that, that, that group seems solid, you know, um, it lacks maybe a bit of a punch. I assume Al will go with them. Not that Al is necessarily going to be enough of a punch, but that that that's feasible to me. That's a feasible fight if Priscilla, because I don't know what Priscilla can do, and Liliana perfectly counter, counters the authority, and so it just becomes Fire Mage versus Fire Swordsman, and I, I can trust that Priscilla can just be serious. Um, also, corpse manipulation, the forbidden art of that, has just been verbally dropped, which gives us more more to work with with um, serious because a lot of the serious. Uh, uh, thinking was based around um, Sirius being Fortuna, and so maybe there's some sort of like corpse manipulation, or maybe like that, like something ten like related to corpse manipulation that is more like keeps more of the soul or something, like a mock revival of the dead or something. I don't know, like a corrupted revival of the dead, something like that is very much on the table now, so that that can be very important for Sirius coming up. Um, but yeah, it's funny that Reinhardt literally is like, oh, let me cast Detect Magic real quick. Like, he really does. Uh, what are our other squads? I feel like our other squads, I was like, bro, there's no way. Um, like, it's so over. So yeah, I like that group. Priscilla and Liliana is enough. It's it's like, I I wouldn't, I'm, it's, not a, it's not a one game, but it's like, I could see that being more than a 50-50 if Priscilla is strong enough, you know? Because Liliana is such a good counter. And then Lust... Most of the enemy's forces, we got Capella herself, two cultists, which are the really two scary ones that kind of stalemated, I mean, that Garfield lost to with Mimi, and then Reinhardt somewhat, like, they seem to be kind of stalemated with them, and maybe Demi Beast. So now, that just, okay. We just lose this fight, right? Unless we, th we throw a lot of people at it. Yeah, um, and who are we send sending in? We're just sending in Wilhelm and Garfield. Okay, so it's a 2v like 100. Thoughts? We lose that. Am I wrong? Like, we have 
Garfield seemed like, okay, okay, okay. Even if Garfield could win against the two corpse people, we still got Capella. I feel like Capella is stronger than either one of them alone. Am I wrong? I mean, she could just turn into a dragon. And her as a dragon had regen. A regenerating dragon seemed kind of really strong, I'm going to be honest. Um, and she do be kind of troll, but like, like Wilhelm and Garfield getting swarmed by a bunch of like the mob beasts or like whatever, whatever they're calling them. Um, the like transformations that, that, that uh, Capella's doing. Them getting swarmed by them while they're fighting those two seems really difficult. Because Garfield can't. Garfield is worth, I think, less than one. Right? I think he's worth, like, and, like, he could power up and go Giga Mode, sure. But, like, at best, I would say he's, like, he's not enough to fight both the cultists, you know? Because he lost, he and Nini lost against the two of them. So, maybe Rage Boost, whatever, Giga Chad Mode, Garfield could, like, match one of them. Or maybe match, beat one, and then assist with the other a little bit. And then Wilhelm, I think, is strong enough to beat either one of the, the ones in, in single combat. That seems, that seems feasible. Maybe even... Oh, like, I think, okay, I'll put it this way. I think Wilhelm and Garfield can beat both the cultists, right? But you throw in Capella, and I just don't see them beating it. I just can't see them winning that. Because Capella has a regening, like, she can just turn into a monster and regen a shit ton. Wow, and then it becomes a 3v2, right? Garfield lost the 2v2. Wilhelm and Garfield now in a 3v2, right? And there's a bunch of mob beasts that are jumping you at the same time. Like, we just don't win that, no? Because I, I, yeah, I see that as a lost fight, personally. Um, send an auto in with them, bro. Auto can maybe use auto with a bunch of animals, and then he can get a bunch of animals or some shit, and maybe, like, he can counter. Like, that's the thing, bro. Auto can maybe counter Capella and her stuff, because maybe auto can, like, use his ability to speak to the, the evil beasts, right? That's maybe an idea, you know? So, like, I don't know if that's feasible, but my, maybe. Like, it'd give me, it'd give, it'd give a thought, right? Send auto in with them or something. Like, I think that's a lost fight. I'm gonna be honest. Um, and then, who else are we? Gluttony, we're doing Julius and Ricardo? I mean, Julius is pretty strong. But, like, it's crazy. We had Julius, Ricardo, Garfield, Wilhelm, Subaru, Krush. Six. And we attacked um capella and we we kind of lost that capella was dragon mode regen all the damage from julius's super attack and then retreated a bit and then gluttony showed up gluttony didn't even fight anybody and then we kind of stalemated and then the city flooded while the fight was going on so even having that many numbers we didn't really like succeed you know um though they kind of all immediately split up there so it's kind of hard to say um, but yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a one fight. That seems really risky. And then Gluttony is Ricardo and Julius. I mean, Ricardo, I used to hate Ricardo. Ricardo I've come around on a bit more because he had good mentality with Subaru. And I appreciated what he was saying. But I have seen not very much combat ability from Ricardo. But I haven't, but the thing is, I haven't seen him fight much. So like, maybe Ricardo's kind of goaded. We're just gonna have to see. Julius is pretty strong. But like... I don't know, man. It just doesn't seem like enough. It just, none of these seem like enough except for Liliana Priscilla. I feel like I should write all these down for the, for 11 weeks from now. I feel like that would be useful. So it's, it's literally Liliana Priscilla. Well, I'll do this after the episode because otherwise it's just gonna be me repeating stuff in front of y'all and that's, that's not exactly a good uh, commentary, huh? But yeah, okay. So basically we're hoed. Um, that's so funny. I, dude, I have, like, the, it's crazy. I had, like, the opposite reaction that, like, maybe the show was going for here, which is fine. I mean, I still like the episode, right? Obviously. Um, it's kind of sad that the core ended. I feel like, I don't know, you left me hungry for more. You gave me all the planning. I mean, next arc's gonna be, or, like, the next core is gonna be really lit now because it's just gonna be a bunch of, like, combat and, like, a bunch of action. So that's gonna be exciting. But, like, literally, it's just, Super is like, and we'll win! And I'm just over here, like, we're gonna lose all of these fights except for two. I'll give them half. I would say Reinhard, wherever Reinhard goes, wins easily. Low key on the Schleazy. So they're gonna beat Regulus. I'm confident on that. Priscilla Liliana, I could I see them winning. I see them winning against Sirius. Why so serious? Because Liliana is a perfect counter. I see that. So it's 50-50. But then I see Ricardo and Julius losing to Gluttony, and I see 
Um, Freaking, uh, wait, Ricardo, Julius are losing to Gluttony. Garfield, Wilhelm, I see losing to uh, Capella, plus the two Corpse Soldiers. Yeah, there's no way. And the problem is we need to win all four fights, right? We can't... Low key, we're supposed to just doom doom roll them. I feel like that's the strat. You literally just bring Reinhard. You can, do two groups, bro. Subaru, do two groups. Let them flood the city more. It's fine. Everybody's already in shelters, right? Like it's fine. Let them flood the city. You just do two groups of two, and you just mm, destroy them, and then you go to the other ones and you destroy them. That's it, right? Because Reinhard plus Subaru wins every single engagement one v one. And then everybody else together attacking anybody else, I think wins as well. Like all, everybody fighting Capella, that makes sense to me. You know, Reinhardt alone winning against any of them, that makes sense to me. So we have two groups, you know what I mean? But yeah, and that's not what they're doing. So we're gonna, but yeah, what I was saying though, is that if any one of the four groups loses, then Subaru has to kill himself. That's the problem. Right? Because Subaru has, like, I don't th if Garfield dies because he and Wilhelm lose, I don't think, I, I feel like Subaru isn't going to be fine with that. Right? Um, and if, like, Julius loses, and we're, surely, Su well, maybe Julia. Would Subaru let Julius die? Who, who is in the, win who is in the camp that Subaru would, pr would, would not die for? That's really the question, bro. He wouldn't die. He would die for Amelia. I think he would die for Otto and Garfield. I think he would die for anybody in his camp, right? Barry, Garfield, Arror, Ramra, Amelia, Beatrice, right? I already said Betty. Um, he would die for anybody in his camp. Would he die for Priscilla and Liliana? I don't think so because he he specifically said that people that were um like the guards he wouldn't like he was like the guards are fine with like. The civilians, I, I'm not okay with dying, but the guards, I'm okay with dying because they signed up for this shit. That's kind of the impression I got. So I feel like if Wilhelm and Garfield go and Wilhelm dies, he should be, he, Super would be fine with that, right? Um, he wouldn't kill himself for that? I don't know, but maybe he would. I feel like he, like, he has such an interpersonal connection with some of these characters. I'd be kind of surprised if he wouldn't, you know? Like the nameless guard, I could I, I can understand him not caring for in that kind of way because it's their job. Um, he's not trying to like do a hundred percent completionist perfectionist run, but I feel like the main squad, like anybody in this room, surely with the interpersonal connection, he would assist, right? Or he wouldn't like he wouldn't let something happen to. Um, but I don't know. That's really the question because I don't see each group winning, um, and if they lose, they just get killed. And then Subaru's in a position where he has to, what, like, reorchestrate who fights who? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe this will be our new respawn point, because I'm not confident. I am not confident at all for the um for this to go as nearly as smoothie, smoothly as it may be going. Though, honestly, that's the thing. I think it's not necessarily a good plan. But the, the thing with Subaru is that he can give a shitty plan. And then if it goes wrong, he can just die and then come back and then give a better plan. So, like, it's not actually that bad of a plan. Because Subaru's that guy, you know what I mean? So may, depending on, on Subaru's attitude, I would actually, you know, I would, you know, it's Subaru, you know? As long as Subaru's mental state doesn't collapse, he's pretty much allowed to do whatever he wants. That's like my kind of Subaru position. Um, well, I say whatever he wants, all right? I know there's the if stories, all right? Let's, let's, let's calm ourselves. But as long as his mental state doesn't collapse, that's kind of, you know, that's the very important thing. Um, then I'm kind of, I kind of just trust the guy inherently. So yeah, I just think we're all going to die. And also Amelia Elbozo. All right. That's pretty much where I'm at. Good core, good core. Um, I'm excited for next core, especially because we just did all the planning. And so it's like, we gotta like, give, give me some action, man. I need to see some moves being made. Um, especially they left us at the last second. That's so rude. That's so rude that they la left us with the last second here with these two busting in, bro. I want to see them fight, man, please. But yeah, that's all I got for this one. Episode, wait, so are there only eight more episodes? Is it only 16? How long is the next core, man? I don't even understand. Who knows? On to the next. That's what's important. Of course, of course, of course, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you are new, blah, blah, blah. Comment below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to my other reserve fans there. But until then, until the next core, 11 weeks from now, that is sadly all I got for y'all tonight. I will be seeing you then.